In this lesson, we'll review a passport to advanced math question and calculator is permitted. The graph of this equation is a parabola in the xy plane, in which of the following equivalent equations of the x and y coordinates of the vertex of the parabola appear as constants or coefficients. This is a popular question on the new test, and there's really a shortcut to it. We want the coordinates of the vertex expressed as constants. And if you know that when is the vertex expressed as a constant? That is vertex form. If you just know vertex form, you can really save yourself a lot of time. And so just to review, you should know the difference between standard form and vertex form of an equation. Only in vertex form is the vertex expressed as a constant. And I'll just give you the vertex form to review. It's y equals a times x minus h squared plus k, where h and k, these are the coordinates of the vertex, x and y respectively, and this is the opposite sign inside the bracket. So if you know that, you can really save a lot of time. If you look at the choices, there is only one that's even in vertex form at all. This is standard form, and also we're told these are equivalent as well. This is standard form. This is not vertex form. We don't have the square. And this is intercept form. It has to be C for the choice. Now, sometimes for this question, you might have a couple of uh, or answers that have vertex form, and then you have to figure out the vertex. And so there's a couple ways to find the vertex. It depends on what version is given. If standard form is given, I would just use negative B over 2A, for, and that would give you the X coordinate, and then you plug it back in and find the Y. Here, though, we have intercept form. And so a fast way of doing it with intercept form is just find the solutions find of these two. So this would be x equals, that would be 4 over 2, which is 2, and x equals 4. And the x-coordinate of the vertex is the midpoint. It's the average of these two. And so you can see in either case it's going to be 3. You could use this for standard form. You get 3. Here it's 3. And if you notice, Again, we didn't have to test all these, but here's our three, right? It's the opposite sign inside the brackets, and our y is negative two. Again, you don't have to figure this out to be efficient, but it's a very common question on the new test.